The National Defense Authorization Act, outlining the U.S. military budget for 2024, came out just two hours ago. Washington's defense and security commitment to South Korea has again been underscored. Our An Sung Jin takes a closer look. The U.S. Senate and House Armed Services Committees have reached an agreement on the National Defense Authorization Act, which outlines next year's military spending. The committees announced the NDAA for the 2024 fiscal year on Thursday, which stated that the U.S. government maintained the current number of 28,500 U.S. armed forces in South Korea. The provision also strengthened the U.S. commitment to providing extended deterrence to South Korea. It added that the United States must continue efforts to strengthen military alliances and defense intelligence sharing in the Indo-Pacific region to gain advantage over China. The bill also emphasized that it would reinforce the U.S. alliance with South Korea by fortifying security cooperation on nuclear deterrence, which was highlighted in the Washington Declaration. A mutual defense treaty that was agreed in April on South Korean President Yoon suk yeols state visit to the U.S. The explanatory statement by the committees also explained the conditions under which the South Korean military forces could assume operational control of the ROK U.S. combined forces on the Korean Peninsula, as Congress asked to evaluate the extent to which the Korean military has achieved the conditions for this. It further requested that the Defense Department report progress to the Congress within 180 days of the enactment of the law regarding the transfer of wartime operational control to Korea. The NDAA had already been passed separately by the Senate and House before being approved by the joint committees. An Song-jin, Arirang News.